Maddie, do you like bats? Do I like bats? Not in particular, no. Without bats, we might not have tequila. Oh, The okay. Mexican long-nosed bat loves nectar like we love tequila. And they fly as much as 60 miles a night looking for agave flowers to drink from. And they go plant, 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 and they pollinate all the agaves. But wait, don't most agave plants not have flowers because they're harvested before the flower grows? That is exactly right, and that's the problem. <laughs> so commercial agave that's used for tequila typically doesn't flower, and that has actually crushed the bat population, even put them on the endangered species list oh, for a while. Oh, no! I know, the, the poor, bats. poor I know. bats! Wow, bats! <laughs> What's awesome is there are some certified bat-friendly tequila brands that promise to let 5% of their agaves grow up to make flowers, and that gives the bats something to eat. This is a program led by David Soro and the Tequila Interchange Project. David runs the brand Siembra, one of my favorites. There's some <laughs> other bat-friendly brands as well who have made this pledge, including Siete Leguas uh, and Tequila Ocho. Bats are coming back as well. We got a big bat rally going on right now. There was only a thousand of these bats a couple years ago, and now there's like a quarter million bats. Isn't that great wow, news? Wow, it is great news. So next time you're drinking tequila, like maybe Always. right now, remember how important the bats are to what you're drinking.